Today, we are here with Dr. Wen Wei of the Texas Agricultural Experiment Station. He is a research scientist responsible for corn breeding on the Texas High Plains. He has been working on a number of lines the past uh, four or five years now and is in the process of looking at these lines out on farmers' fields. These lines that he is breeding are drought tolerant, which is what we need in this uh, arid environment that we have here. He is also looking at earworm resistance, spider mite resistance, and aflatoxin resistance with all of these components going into the same plant. As we look at this plant here, Dr. Wen Wei has uh, been looking at this line, which is a white food corn. It is also a uh, late maturing corn, uh, about 121 days. The other advantage of this corn is it has a nice broad leafy leaf, so we feel like that this corn will be able to use be used for insulage uh, for our dairies around the area, which is going to be very important in the future with all the dairies that are moving into this area. This is a white hybrid. It has potential for a white food corn. Uh, last year in our test plot, we produced 220 bushels here in halfway station. Um, one of the parent line is resistant to spider mites, so we would like to see how this hybrid perform under heavy mud infestation. This hybrid has, shown, has been shown that resistant to corn earworm, ears pretty much clean under heavy natural mud in, I mean, earworm infestation. And it also show has a very low alpha toxin. So we are interested in this one to prove on the farmer's field and uh, hopefully we'll continue to hold those uh, unique characters. So that's what the producer needed in this uh, area. And when we this one being a white food corn, this it's will be white. important for our uh, food corn industry here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and that's one of our biggest concerns in food corn production is uh, uh, high yields on white corns, which we have tended not to. And then also with uh, white corns over the years, uh, we have had some problems with uh, corn earworm damage and causing some rejections of some loads. And so if we can get the kernel damage down below the uh, needs of our uh, food corn industry, then this will uh, put us down the road to having a lot more food corn or food corn production in this region. Okay, now this hybrid is a little late, a lot later than the uh, uh, escrow RX776W, but it's a 121 days hybrid. It's late because it contains a lot of uh, tropical germplasm here. Uh, all our material have been selected from uh, tropical by temperate Crosses. So that's how we get our unique genes from a tropical germplasm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is a, a, a yellow uh, corn. It's about a 117 day hybrid. Uh, it's a, we call it, it's a, one of the lines that developed from our program is a, called TX205. It's been in the process of being for public release. Uh, this hybrid last, year, last two years have been performed very well under dry condition, the well, irrig well irrigated conditions uh, throughout Texas uh, uh, outperformed uh, uh, the average of uh, four commercial checks. Uh, and Dumas area last year produced 260 bushels 